In this video, we're going to get an idea of how to work with GUI, and uh, that just stands for Graphical User Interface. It's something that we're all very familiar with. The one we're going to be using is called tkinter, and there are lots of other libraries out there that you can use to build GUI applications with, but tkinter is part of the Python standard library. It's pretty easy to use and learn quickly with, and so that's what we're going to be using uh, here. So with tkinter, you're going to build an application, and the first thing it consists of is a window. And by default, the window is just going to be the size that's required to fit your application in. So what we do is we build elements called widgets and we place them in the window. And the window produces behavior all right, based on people's interactions with these widgets. All right, And the interactions are called events and sometimes these are called event driven programs or event driven programming. We're just going to see a few of the widgets. Uh, there's the text, a label, and uh, an entry, and a button. All right, But there are other things that we won't see that come with tkinter such as frame, canvas, checkbox, a menu, menu item, things like that. And if you want to know more about how tkinter works and the things that you might be able to do with it, there's a link right here for it. For now, we're ready to jump right in and get started with it. So we're going to fire up Spider. Okay, so with Spider fired up, what we're first going to do is import everything from tkinter. All right, and we're going to kind of use this lazy shortcut and we're just going to import everything. All right, so this is going to allow us to refer to widgets in tkinter without prefixing each one with the word tkinter. All right, next, as I said before, we're going to start with a window and we're going to pass in the TK object. Okay, and then we're just going to make a label. All right, so that should be tkinter label. All right, but since we've imported everything, we can just refer to it as label. And then I'm going to reference it's going in the window and then we're going to have some text there. Okay, next I'm going to make a text box again. It is placed in the window and then we can do some things like configure it and we can tell the background to be red. Okay, so you can see that uh, there's going to be lots of options for changing the appearance of the widgets that we place. Uh, one of the me mechanisms we have is this uh, configure all right, and it takes arguments uh, in a dictionary. All right. So there are lots of properties that each one of these widgets have and we're not going to be able to go through all of them but we'll see a few of them uh, as we go along and build our application. All right, The last thing I'm going to do is make a button. Again place it in the window and then give it some text. Okay so with those three widgets in our window we now need to basically render the window. So we need to tell tkinter how to render these widgets. And so I'm going to refer to the object names and then I'm going to tell it to pack them. All right, so when I pack, it's just going to place things in sort of a vertical order in however I, I tell them to be packed. All right, the other couple of options you have is grid where you use sort of a column and row reference. We'll see that in the next video or as we get started building our application. And uh, then there's a place. So I can tell tkinter to place them at some x and y coordinate. Okay, so now we have defined our window. We've defined some widgets to put in it. And all we need to do now is call the routine that renders the window. And that is the main loop. Okay, with that done, we're ready to run our first GUI application. Of course, we'll have to name it. Okay, so when we run the application, it doesn't look like anything happened. It gives us a message over here uh, that it seems like it worked. Okay, but I can't see anything. And it's because the tkinter window has popped up behind spider. I'll minimize spider here. And there it is. Okay, so there's our label, there's our text box, we made the background red, and there's our button. Uh, it doesn't do anything, but I can click on it. Okay, and so without configuring things further, 
this is what we end up with. All right, but we have the option to do things like change the font size, change the size of this text box, and obviously change the color. And yeah, I can go ahead and start typing in this text box if I want. All right, but again, the program doesn't do anything besides render uh, this window for now. Okay, so next up, we're gonna see how to assign events to those buttons and make it actually do something.